Welcome to a quick review of the MacLight XL100 LED flashlight. Um, it comes in a, a blister packaging as you can see here. Uh, with the AAA uh, batteries, uh, you need to run them with three AAA batteries. Um, and you have different functions I'm going to show you in a moment. So um, you have 4484 candela up to 134 meters. Uh, uh, um, far you can uh, illuminate stuff up to 83 lumens. Uh, it's uh, water resistant, uh, it's supposed to be water resistant, uh, shock resistant, um, in uh, high, um, a full uh, full 83 lumens uh, can run to up to five and a half, five hours and 15 minutes. Uh, I haven't checked that one yet. Uh, and in low, uh, in the lowest mode, up to 201 hours. So this is how it comes. Uh, and it has a 10 year limited warranty. So obviously uh, this one is a present for someone else. Uh, I have already one which is for me. Here we go. Uh, I got it in red, so this is how it looks. Let's just see the length of it. It's 12, 12 centimeters, which is like what, four and a half, four and three quarter inches. And in diameter we have uh, two and a half centimeters, which is approximately an inch. Um, so everything is controlled through that button in the back here and according to how you hold it basically the function will be activated so if you hold it in this function the dim function will be activated uh, but let me just open it up for you okay so this is the LED from inside come on focus here we go Now you can see it's you have the ceiling here, uh, which should prevent it from water getting in. And then from the back, you open it here. And again, you can see already the ring here as well. And it has a battery uh, pack holder. So you just put the three AAA batteries, AAA batteries inside. And uh, just close it up. Okay, I'll do later on a test uh, in a garage, uh, which is obviously darker so you can see how good it is. But let me just show you the functions, how it works basically. So, you turn it on this way. And if you want to dim it, you hold it and then you have to turn it. It's a bit difficult to see, but... See what I mean? So, this is the lowest for example. This one is not the lowest. So if you want to stop the dim and basically light it up again, you hold it and then you turn the lamp. It is kind of a really cool system, uh, so it really works well. Uh, obviously once you, you um, take the finger off the button, nothing will happen. So it will stay in the way that you set it up. So now, how do you get to these other modes? So as I said, you just turn it to that mode. and then it will work. So now always it's going to be in the full uh, 80 through lumens. Um, if you want to dim it, you can you can dim it later on in the dim function as well, but you can also make it faster or slower. As you can see here. Then, uh, what is this? The night function. This one is actually quite cool if you're, for example, sleeping in a tent and uh, you or your environment which gets really really dark, you cannot find a light, so you just put it on and then you just leave the lamp and as you can see it will dim itself it will stay a bit on, just so you can find it easier, and then if you just tip it, it will again light on um, it would have been better if it would have turned off completely, because then you can just right, leave it in the dent and you can flip it, or just touch it and it would go on again so, uh, this is signaling mode. Uh, let me just see, I forgot already how it works. Ah, here we go. So, you hold it and then you can basically do whatever you want to do. Okay, and the last one is uh, the SOS, International uh, SOS uh, Code 3 short, 3 long, 3 short. Uh, 
I don't know if you're really gonna need that or not, uh, I don't think so, but whatever. Then there's one more uh, nice function which is actually you can uh, freak out some people with it. Uh, what you can do is if you turn it on and you put it down, you're gonna lock the light. You see? So it's locked. It has uh, a uh, accelerometer in inbuilt, which basically now everything is locked. So if you wanna turn it off again, again, okay, call it up, put it down, and then it works again. So uh, to avoid, for example, if you put it in your bag, to avoid that uh, by mistake something will uh, turn on the button and you will drain the battery, they have built in this function of uh, basically uh, locking the, the flash itself. So I'm going to show it to you one more time. Let me just put up the camera a bit so you can see it better. Okay, so now it's on, right? You press the button and move it 180 degrees, leave it off, take the finger off, and then... Oops, okay, sorry. There you go. So now it's locked, right? If you want to unlock it again, so put it up to the sky, turn it 180 degrees, and it works again. Okay, so uh, this was the quick uh, walk through the functions and everything, and uh, I'll go now down to the garage and uh, try to show you how bright is it actually. Thank you very much.